Okay, so we have created another document, IED 5.2, number 15. This is going to be the mirror. Oh, I should write mirror. All right, so let's choose a sketch plane as our front, hit N for normal. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to choose a line. I'm just going to run a line straight down our y-axis. And that will be valuable later for the mirror. I'm going to get a rectangle. Put it in there. And I'm going to get a circle. I'll put it up here. And I'm going to get an arc. I'll put it out here. I make it kind of skinny. Uh, now I'm going to go to a three-point arc. I'm going to click in the center of the eye. Oh, no, no, did this wrong. Escape, which is the arc? Center point arc. My bad. Just come up here. And I'm going to go back to regular circle. I'm going to click there to make them concentric. Click. And down here. Uh, ooh, no, I want a center point arc again. Come down here, click on the line, and do this. Then... I'm going to do a conic circle, or sorry, a like arc. Click on the y-axis again, and then you can kind of pull this guy out. And the idea is you want to get the end of it kind of horizontal. Click. All right. Uh, next, I'm going to click on a line. I'm going to click on this corner. This corner, we're going to use our trim tool. And I think that looks pretty good. All right, so now finally we're going to use our mirror tool. Select the mirror line, just going to click on the vertical line. Select entities to be mirrored. So I'm just going to draw a big square around everything. And now you have a jack-o'-lantern or a happy face or whatever. I think this one kind of looks like a monkey. But now if everything's symmetrical on both sides, I should be able to tell pretty quickly that you use the mirror line and one more thing you can do, escape mirror line, is I'm going to go in here, select the original mirror line, and now delete it. We don't need it anymore. Okay, now take your screenshot, alt, print screen, and I get my checklist, and you are done. I will see you in the next video.